Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's another impo. Yeah, the logo is all the way up there in the shadow. Impo Electronic AS. So it's a Danish company and they are made and uh, made electronics or equipment like this for um, for schools and education sites. So this one is called Stroboscope Type 1325. And as you see here, they made it really, really smart. We got RPMs, and that is, of course, if you want to freeze something that rotates. So let's uh, do the math here. So if something rotates 60 RPM rotation per minute, then each rotation is one times per second. So that is one hertz. All right, so this one will flash one pulse per second. And um, that's actually how it works. So you can just, you got those three different ranges, tick, 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 and then all the values, they are both in RPMs and in frequency in Hertz. And we got, of course, internal or external trigger. So you can have an external, that's probably if something rotates and there's an output from it, then you can trick on that and to, uh, yeah, to freeze the picture, right? But if this one is generating an internal signal, you can use the output to drive a counter or an output to drive a motor or something that happens. That is all up to you, of course. We need to, we need to of course, open and inspect before we proceed. But I bet there is a big, powerful, see? A nice little flash tube in there. <laughs> this, yeah, look at that. This one is a a front light from a beetle or something like that, right? <laughs> oh, how nice is that? It is um, surprisingly beautifully designed and manufactured. If you are an expert within um, car brands and car spare parts, could you please comment on what kind of a car this one fits? I mean, is it a Beetle or is it a 2CV or some funny old car with uh, round headlights? Could be real fun to, to know. There's probably some numbers. This one here is 65, 74, and there's probably another number somewhere. I don't know exactly what number to um, to find here, but we've got two circuit boards, and the, there's one here with the flash tube. See, there's a little trigger SCR. And then this high voltage transformer, and it works with this capacitor here in series with the primary, as you can see, the blue wire. That is the primary winding for this um, the trigger transformer. And then uh, this one is charged to the full uh, two or three hundred volts. And then this SCR uh, activates, and then this uh, voltage goes uh, via this capacitor to this. Uh, transformer and then you get a very very high voltage spike on the uh, brown wire on the top and this one goes of course to the trigger part of the um, tube and this way it um, activates this uh, high current high power field um, through this tube it's a uh, Quite fascinating. I look so much forward to see if this work. And then there's a um, transformer. Maybe it's an isolation transformer as well. And then we have all the 
low voltage parts nice high quality uh, with all the adjustments and big good quality uh, trimmer uh, the potentiometer here is from 83 all the other components they are from uh, also in the start of the 80s and now of, of course be uh, timing capacitors and all that they really wanted this to be accurate so everything here is really good and beautifully made we have this classic sticker the impo date sticker reveals the 85 okay so it is a little bit older than I first anticipated. Oh, that's a little 37 OK. But I don't see any leaked capacitors or anything that is brown, broken, melted or anything that will uh, prevent me from powering up this thing. So that is what we do. Let's do that. So let's put this internal obviously and then the lowest setting one hertz like that and uh, let's turn it on is it here Oi. holy crap it is powerful oi, 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 oi. I need to protect my eyes from this because I can see the back of the tube here this is insanely bright. <laughs> it really works. So let's try and crank it up 10 times. A oh, few. Now the capacitor can't uh, charge it. Oh, I'm recording in 60 frames per second, right? So 60 frames per second is 60 Hertz, right? So now we have 10 hertz to 100 hertz. Is it, where are we? Here. So this is 20, 30. So, oh, here. We should have an interference. So here's every second frame right there. If this one is right. And if I go all the way to 60. See, here's another interference where the I don't know if you can see it rolls up here, right? So, I mean, the timing really, really works. It goes really, really fast. I have never seen a, a strobe that goes this fast before. Let's see if we can crank this up a factor of 10. It really works. And again, you can get a little bit of interference. Of course, it should be really, really difficult. Yes, here we go. To hit that sweet speed, sweet spot. Whoa! Oh, have you ever seen this? Okay, yeah, sixty. So every every time I can make multiple. Here again. Oh, this is funny. I want to play some more with this. This is uh, what I really wanted to do is try to freeze something that uh, rotates. So here's of course a fan. And the fun thing is I found this in uh, one of my trash boxes. So I think that this is there's a reason for that because it's it says uh, 24 volts and then I give it 24 volts and look, it's just doing like that. But if I, sometimes I can, haha, -ha, now it spins, okay? So what you see here um, with the camera, you see some interference that is rotating. And this is because I'm running at uh, 60 frames uh, per second on my camera. So now we'll try and uh, adjust the, the stroboscope and see what happens here. So this is really, really funny. I don't know if you can see this because I have a lot of interference with the camera and this is, these things really don't work with, um, with, <laughs> with cameras with a shutter speed that is, 
very close to what I want to show you because I run um, 1200 RPM uh, at the moment. So uh, what is that? Uh, 1250 Hertz or something like that, right? So I don't know what it's, it's really. It's really funny if I try and change the frequency a little bit up or down. See, oh, then it goes this way, then it goes the other way. So I can make it freeze like that, right? But it looks so, so cool in real life. It is just not, I cannot reproduce this um, on the camera. And then we can turn it off. 